And you know, it's a good thing that somebody mentioned, <clears throat> so that I wouldn't have to bring it up first, um, Effie Milhopoulos. Um, she actually, according to David Rubin, who started this 14 years ago, was one of the first, if not the first, feature at the cafe. <laughs> and uh, and one of the, you know, the few times the I had, you know, known of her many years before actually meeting her because I would have things published in Art Life Limited Editions and they would list people and the state that they were from and she was the only other person from Illinois that would be listed in it. I'm like, Kathy, you're the only other one from Illinois after I'd find that out. Um, and I know that many times I have a poem in there like this poem, Too Far, um, which goes like this. When he met me, he told me I looked like Kim Basinger, long blonde locks. But as time wore on, I knew I wasn't her, and I could never be her, and I was never good enough, thin enough, pretty enough. So I got a perm, I straightened my teeth, I bought the wonder bra, but that wasn't doing the trick. So I decided to exercise, I, I decided to use a stair stepper, I ate rice cakes and wheat germ, but I wasn't thin enough, I only dropped 20 pounds. So I went to the spa, I got my skin peeled, soaked myself in mud, bought the amino acid facial creams. But I knew they didn't really work. So I went to the doctor and got my nose slimmed, my tummy stapled, my thighs sucked. Thought about getting a rib or two removed, you know, like Cher. <laughs> but I figured they've got to be there for something. And hey, that's just going too far. <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs>